Murder on the Orient Express. Update to the Agatha Christie classic introduced us to a brand new Hercule Poirot, played by the inimitable Kenneth Branagh, who also directed, along with the ride, was an impressive stable for supporting players, including Michelle Fire, Star Wars, Daisy Ridley, and Josh Gad. Train to Busan. One of the better entries in the ever burgeoning zombie trend, this Korean export takes the terror of the undead and puts it on a high-speed train which makes that airplane sequence in World War Z look like a walk in the park. Definitely a superior pick for a thrilling night in. Unstoppable. Just one year after he starred in the reboot of Pelham 123, Danzel paired with Star Trek's Chris Pine in this gritty, urban nail-biting following an engineer and conductor as they try to rein in a Magaton freight train loaded with toxic chemicals. Some of the stunts in this one look positively nausea-inducing. Somehow, though you just know, these guys are going to be okay in the end. Just for a second. The Girl on the Train it's a shame that Emily Blunt's searing performance as an end-of-her-rope alcoholic depressive couldn't save this moody adaptation of the literary phenomenon, which was hobbled by some rather generic supporting players, yet in addition to Blunt, Justin Therox does some of his best work yet as a cunning, misogynistic brute spied by Blunt's girl through the window of a passing commuter train. Is this her? Source code. Time travel movies are always saddled with the challenge of keeping murky plot points clear for the audience. But Source Code proves successful thanks in no small part to Jake Callen Hall, as well as a pulse pounding beat the clock premise involving a bomb that will explode on a commuter train in T minus 8 minutes. And the special ops cop sent back in time to find the person responsible. <laughs>